Some state Republican lawmakers introduced a package of bills today they say would protect Michiganders from illegal immigration at the border. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews. The announcement comes a day after President Joe Biden's executive action designed to put an end to the crisis at the U.S.-Mexico border. News 10 Capitol correspondent Zachariah Wheaton found out how this new package of bills would protect Michiganders. Homeland Security officials have been arresting just under 4,000 migrants a day at the southern border. President Biden says with Republicans blocking a border deal, he says he had no other choice but to take executive action. Some state Republicans, part of the Freedom Caucus, says Biden's move comes four years too late and introduced a bill package that they say will keep Michiganders safe from failed border policies. I'm moving past Republican obstruction and using the executive authorities available to me as president to do what I can on my own to address the border. Let's stop the illegal immigration and get back to common sense policies. Biden's executive action signed Tuesday prevents migrants who cross the border illegally from seeking asylum. An advocacy group called Michigan United says Biden's executive action is eroding the trust of people with immigrant family members. It's making Americans feel afraid and scared of people that are just looking for safety. They're running away from, from danger, from political instability, from persecution. Some state Republicans, part of the Freedom Caucus, are hoping to double down here in Michigan, unveiling a bill package that would punish local entities for not enforcing immigration laws, protect police officers' right to question a person's immigration status, and require all law enforcement in the state to work with U.S. immigration enforcement detainers. We believe this law will improve the lives of many and enhance Michigan's security and prosperity. While members of the Freedom Caucus point to rising fentanyl deaths and crimes committed by people in the country illegally, Democratic State Representative Ranjeev Puri says the most impactful immigration policies are made at the federal level, saying state lawmakers should be focusing on growing the state. Michigan is thousands of miles um, from the southern border, and so this perceived crisis is at, at the southern border um, is not at Michigan's southern border. It's important to remember what we were voted to work on, uh, and that is, again, to just focus on the, on the issues of, of Michiganders. In a statement responding to Biden's executive action, Michigan's Governor Gretchen Whitmer applauded Biden's efforts and vowed to send Michigan National Guard troops to the southern border if needed. Reporting in Lansing, I'm Zachary Wheaton, News 10. President Biden's executive action comes as Homeland Security officials expect a big uptick of migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border.